Hi guys, I'm Shutak from the designsketchbook.com and today I would like to share with you a topic about the myth of hidden talent when it comes to creativity. And creativity seems to be unfair from people because some people seem to have the talent, uh, the innate talent, and some people just seem like they don't have it. I realize it's pretty much counterintuitive, but the one on the left uh, which believe they have the innate talents will tend to give up. Why the one on the right, actually, who believe that they don't have the talent, will tend to hustle more. I was reading a book last night about how to maximize your potential and I stumbled into the article from Heidi Grant Alverson and she was sharing that when she was a student at Columbia University, her mentor was doing a survey, not a survey, um, an experiment on kids um, to see their reaction about how do they react when they are praised or when they are not. How they see how they have the ability to succeed or not. So basically, these kids was given a series of three exercises. The first exercise was pretty easy. Uh, most of students could feel it, could succeed it. And at the end of this first, um, of this first exercise, half of the students was, was told that Wow, you have done great. Um, you are very talented. You, 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 you have, they have been praised by, they have the skills inside them. And the second group, the 50 over person, was praised in a different way. They was praised into, uh, congrats, you have done a lot of effort. This is why you succeed. And then they have been given a second exercise, which is pretty tough. This was pretty bad result for all, almost all of the students. And then we have given them a third exercise, which was pretty easy, like pretty similar to the first one. The first group tend to fail more than the second group. Why? Because the first group, who has been told that they had the talent, actually realized that, oh, I don't have the ability to do it, so there's no point to carry on. They didn't have the pleasure to, to work on that further. And then for the second one, or the second groups, is actually the opposite reactions. They realize that, oh, that's tough, I couldn't make that thing, but I will just keep carrying on. I will just get carrying on because I just need to put more effort if I want to succeed it. When I was in my design school, some people get to feel that they have been praised uh, to be good already because when they enroll to the school, they already have skills and they have been praised by their peers. Oh, you are so good and you are so creative and so on and so on. And on the right part, some of the students actually was more uh, having difficulties to start from the bottom and these people actually tend to hustle more and uh, tend to uh, to realize that whenever they put on the works they could make progress and this is how actually they could last longer it reminds me the story of uh, the tortoise and the hare somehow <laughs> the hare is very fast and very reactive and is very proud and have a lot of ego and the turtle is just starting from the bottom and we should actually just keep going with persistence every day learning more and more and she, she will win the race at the end of the day and just kind of keep carrying on with the article of ID Grant Alverson is that she also gives some advice about the mind shift how to mind shift to realize that we can make it anyone who want to make it and to learn something creative actually is able to do the first mind shift is to allow yourself to screw up you are just too harsh with yourself. Uh, you believe that everyone has an innate talent, they, they should just succeed from the first shot. But that's, that's just wrong, it's just a myth. It's something that um, you only see people like on the street, uh, drawing portrait, urban sketching, they are so good already because they have trained and this is something that we tend to forget um, to, to realize. We just see the end result of so much work behind. And just for like also under bracket, I. I do have a VIP student on my course of sketch like the pros and she was publishing one of her sketch and she was saying she was drawing something she knew what she she messed up she did a mistake she realized herself and she put in a comment sorry I did a mistake and this is where I just replied to her that she doesn't have to be sorry I want her to to show me her all her weakness in the VIP feedbacks that I can give it to her there's different steps when you want to learn something you need to acquire the knowledge and then you need to apply it. And of course you're not going to apply it great on the first time. So show me your iteration so I can help you actually to progress faster. I can help you to spot your mistakes and, and help even better. It's like if I 
if you want to learn how to dance, uh, the teacher will show you a demonstration first, but you will need to practice a few times so you can get it, so your body can learn it, so your body can have the, this feeling that it becomes until intuitive, until it absorbs it. So you will never <laughs> succeed at the first shot. But if you have the right explanation, getting step by step, you will for sure start with the right basis. So allow yourself to screw up, it's just part of the process. Uh, the second my chief is ask for help. Uh, we realize that if you have too much ego and you don't ask for help, you will kind of self doubt of yourself actually. But when you ask for help, actually you can achieve more. Because you are looking for help, you are looking for surroundings, you are looking for more brains to help you. When I was a student in my design school, I was not the best sketcher, I, I was working hard. And one of the ways I improve much faster is to simply sit with the table of the greatest, uh, the greatest students in my class. Um, we was having like uh, a table of four people and I was sitting in one of the seats and I was looking at how there was joy. And then I tried to repeat, I tried to imitate, I tried to see how they feel when they draw. And this is how also I learned faster, because I didn't do it alone on myself. And it was very competitive, but what I like among design is when it's fair is that even if we compete ourselves each other, we admire each other, and we want to help the other also and see how we develop our own by our own style as well on each our personality. We knew this is the only way uh, all together we can improve faster and better. Number three is about comparing your performance um, within the timelines instead of looking for always comparing with others. Basically when you compare with the timeline it means that you are looking for appreciating your own progress instead of just looking at other people's progress and uh, high stage that they are. You have to appreciate your own uh, ability to see step by step how you did better than yesterday, how you did better than last month and last year. And this is actually how you can also target and keep progressing, like the story of the tortoise and the air. Uh, when you're the tortoise, you just see that you're a bit further, you're a bit further and you will keep going. And this is how you go much more far and get closer to your goal. And it drives us also to, um, to, think, to, to the number four on the mind shift number four, is that you look for progress and not perfect perfections. Um, the difference of to be good and to look for to get better basically is that uh, to me is a difference on when you have a big goal uh, I do recommend you to have, always have a big goal whether you think you have the talent or not um, between to be and to become for example myself when I was students um, I, when I was dreaming about be, be, being, being a designer at Adidas, Nike, the big brands, uh, it, it would make the difference between I want to be a great designer at Nike or Adidas and so on, or Puma, uh, with I want to become a great designer at Nike, Adidas or Puma and so on. Why is because when you put the word become instead of to be, there is intuitively the hustle process that comes in between is that you know that the hustling will be part of the game. You know that uh, you will have to go through a learning, a learning curve. You have to go through difficulties and obstacles. And this is how you will have fun. Basically, for your success, you have to realize that your toughest critics is yourself. And this is why it comes to the mind shift number five, is examine your belief. Examine your belief. <laughs> um, is that whenever like you're failing at something, don't keep thinking that if you're failing it's because you don't have the talent. Uh, just remind yourself that you're not good yet. Uh, just keep going. Uh, if you put the time, if you put the effort, and you divide all this, and you divide these two by learning with the right methods, then you will skyrocket. You will keep going. And with motivation and fun, that's the most important because no matter you do something with passion, uh, having fun is essential and just uh, take it easy with yourself. Don't be too tough with yourself because remind you, you have to remind you that the main constant to success is actually to put on the work and to hustle. 
and this is part of the game and this is what, what is making making it fun and to be proud of and yeah that's it that is that's what I wanted to share with you guys um, no matter you have been praised that you have the innate talent or not uh, no matter that you believe that um, you you can or you cannot you will succeed if uh, you have to believe that whenever you put the effort you can do it because you can make a change in your life um, there is nothing which is fixed if you want to create your own future you are the one who drive yourself so don't be impressed by no matter who is telling us to you you have the talent or you don't have the talent you are good or you're not good at just do your own things and put their thoughts have your self belief in yourself as for help uh, go through this, this five um, this five mind shift and I hope it helps you guys and see you for the next video hey, of course and if you have any questions feel free to leave in the comments I would be glad to, to carry on this conversation with you see you